Hey there, it's Lady on the Mic, and today we're going to be looking at this man who went viral for his birthday dinner bill drama. It's a story time, so we're going to take a look at it, and then we'll talk about it. Let's get into it. Hey babe, was I wrong for how I moved at this girl's birthday dinner? Ooh, he called us babe, y'all. Oh my god. Hey babe, how are you? <laughs> so I get invited via my homegirl to go to this girl's dinner. I don't know her like that. I think I met her once through my homegirl a while ago. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go because you're inviting me. So I go, I get the girl a little gift or whatever. When I pull up, the first thing I realize is, first of all, everybody's on time. And second of all, a lot of people showed up for this girl's birthday dinner. It was over 12 people, probably over 15. I couldn't, I've never seen this many people at a birthday dinner at a restaurant in my life. Sheesh, I don't even have 15 close friends to invite to a birthday dinner. I only got 12. I don't even think I have 10. That's a lot of people. But that was nice of him to get her a gift, even though he didn't know her like that. Oh my gosh, that was really nice of you. That's the nice going, you know, people are buying their drinks and things like that. But when what I started noticing is people's orders. You know, I, I'm a very observant person. So I started noticing people's orders. And people, they was ordering two and three appetizers, three and four drinks, the best, biggest T-bone steaks with the gold on it and, and this and truffle fries and this and this. Everybody... Okay, wait a minute. Them truffle fries are good, though. But three or four appetizers? Is that y'all meal? Because I, I can barely get through one appetizer. Because <laughs> I'll be ready for my meal, okay? But the gold trimmings? Oh, this is fancy. They real fancy up in there. Just doing their thing. So, something, I don't know what it was. At some point of the night after, you know, people was, you know, finishing up their plates and ordering their last drinks and stuff like that. I had to go to the bathroom, but something hit me on my way to the bathroom. Like, you know, just stop and pay for your meal. Just just stop by the bar, pay for your meal, tip out, do that. That's what I did. So by the time I go to the bathroom, pay for my bill, tip out, and stuff like that, the waiter is coming around to the table wanting to know how we're going to do the bill because the bill can only get split two ways. And he made that very clear. The bill can only get split two ways. Oh, and this is where the drama began. But I'm thank God um, for that tuition, intuition, uh, for him to be able to go to the bar and like, you know what, let me just pay, my, pay for my food right here at the bar. I'm not, you know, just in case, you know, eh, because I don't blame him. What you're not going to do is try to put all this whole bill on me, okay? So the girl looks down at the other end of the table where we're sitting and she says, Oh, well, two of the guests, they can put it on their car and everybody can cash app them. I think the F not. I would have told her, no, we can put it on your car. How about that? Happy birthday. Okay. Because what you're not going to do is the two of the guests. What you mean? Two of the guests. No. No. I will not. That, no. Is that how you're supposed to treat your guests? I will not be putting on uh, everybody going to put their. No put it on a car you no absolutely not and they can deal with the bill because i'm not worried about that i'm the birthday <laughs> girl i heard it but everybody around at the table act like they didn't and i was completely not worried because again my bill is paid for tipped and everything i'm just kind of waiting on my home girl so i know that's why he's like and i'm completely not worried <laughs> And not 100% completely not worry, okay? Because my bill is already paid. Like how you was looking down back at me, I'm going to look back at you. I'm going to throw that little right back at you. And I'm going to look at you. What you want? Because <laughs> you ain't talking about this guest, okay? The time has gone past. Nobody's putting up the card. Nobody is even touched. Nobody even touched the check, right? So finally, a dude that was there, he opened it being funny. And it was over $3,500. <laughs> Say what? You have lost all your mind. You have lost all your mind. If you think I'm going to put $3,500 on my card. <laughs> How much the bill was. It was over $3,500. When he said that, I just busted out laughing. Yeah. I don't know why I find it to be so funny. I think it's because I knew it was about to be a shit show. Right, and that's what it's and that's where it's about to come. It's like everybody's gonna act a daggone monkey. 
Okay, they finna add the monkey up in here. So the person comes back around and notice that nobody's touching the bill, and it's like, hey, what are we doing about the bill? So she looks down towards our end again, which I don't know why she kept looking down towards our end. So finally, she's like, all right, well, who's gonna um, put down on the bill? So I don't say nothing. My homegirl, she don't say nothing. And then so finally, another girl in the group was like, well, my homegirl, well, can we put it on your car and, you know, everybody just pay you back? My homegirl, she say no. Like, no, um, I'm not really comfortable with that. Da, 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 da. So things are starting to get heated now. There's a, a back and forth going between the restaurant, who's going to be paying, things like that. A lot of people are getting frustrated. Things are getting heated. So what do I do? I say, I'm going to excuse myself. Because, first of all, I'm not about to be sitting in a, a, a food, restaurant, public setting and embarrass myself because y'all don't have y'all shit together. I know that's right. Excuse yourself, young man. I would have like, all right, well, I already paid my bill, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Y'all figure this out on your own, okay? Because what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to be sitting here and have folks looking at me like, I don't have money to pay for my own food. I got money to pay for my own food. I already did. I'm going to go. Okay, happy birthday. Again, happy birthday. Birthday, girl. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. Um, No, and I would not, like, who wants to put all of that on one car? And I bet not hear nobody say well, if you broke, just say that. Well, then we put it on your card then. Because you know, folks, they are so quick to say that these days. Well, if you broke, just say that. Nobody's broke. I'm just being smart, okay? It ain't about me being broke. I'm being smart with my money. And I'm being smart with how I'm going to handle things, okay? I say okay a lot, but I really do mean it, okay? Right? I don't do that. I don't play that. My shit is already taken care of. My bill is taken care of, tipped out, tipped beautifully. My bill came up to a hundred, and I'll never forget it was a hundred and fifteen dollars without tip. Without tip, and then he said he tipped beautifully. I love that. What's beautifully to you? I'm beautiful. <laughs> Let me stop. Right. So I was like, I'm gonna excuse myself. Get up, leave. Call the Uber and all. My homegirl, because that this is her friend. So she's staying, trying to, you know, figure things out, stuff like that, arguing, things like that with people. I'm not doing that. So I excuse myself and I leave because y'all need to figure this out. As I'm getting up to leave, well, what are you doing? Well, why are you, how are you leaving? You need to help pay for this bill, things like that. The waiter, before I can even say that, the waiter's like, his bill's already taken care of. He took, you know, he paid his bill and tipped out almost... 45 minutes ago. Damn, it was 45 minutes ago. I know that's right. I know, I know that's right. Everybody's shocked, looking like. They was like, bruh, y'all better go up to that bar and pay your own bill. How about that? I'm hitting the door by now. My, my, I'm gone. I'm out. I get, I get, by the time I get home, about an hour, I would say later, I get a long text message from my homegirl. I think that they, it was real rude what you did at my homegirl's birthday dinner. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that type of etiquette came from. Da, 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 da. She got some nerve. How she gonna sit up here and say that? I think that's rude, girl. You rude. You are rude for sitting up here sending him a message to my son. He's rude. He paid for his food. How how was that rude? What type of etiquette? Well, let's talk about the etiquette. Y'all now ran up a whole bill that cost over $3,500. And everybody seen they don't know. Like, I don't know who's going to pay for the bill. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's some, wow, that's some true real etiquette right there. And you want to talk about it. How someone like, he's rude. Why you didn't put the money on your car? But you declined too. So if, if we're going to say he's rude, then you rude too. What kind of etiquette is that? <laughs> Y'all, this, ooh. I would have I probably blocked her. After that text message, uh-uh, I'm not listening to that. I'm not listening to you talking about I'm rude and stuff. Uh-uh, goodbye. Good night and goodbye. I texted her back a simple IDC. Oh. Oh, I know that's right. He said IDC. You know what? That's the best response right there. IDC. Okay, <laughs> I know that's right. Let's look at some comments because y'all know I love me some comments. Okay, this person said, I never understood birthday dinner drama. Just pay for what you got. Simple, simple. It is so simple. 
I'm with I'm with that person on there. It's so simple. Like, why do I have to? But see, if the the waiter said they only split it two ways, then I probably be like, okay, well, give me what I had or however they do. I ask old homeboy down there. Listen, how'd you pay for your meal? You went to the bar? Oh, you did? Okay, I'm gonna go to the bar and pay for my food too. Uh uh-uh, uh, I'm not gonna be splitting it no kind of and have somebody put them on one call. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> This person said, bro, you did right. Ain't no way in hell am I helping pay a bill that I didn't make, okay? Because if I only order a certain amount of food, that's what I'm paying for. And this person said, she said, she basically said, I don't like how you were paying attention and was taking steps ahead to make sure you're good. Like, what? Right, right. It doesn't make sense. Because I decided to go ahead and pay for my food, my meal. I'm rude. You don't like how I was moving. And just say that. Don't try to make me feel bad for how I move, because I was smart to go up there and pay for the food, pay for my food at the bar. So when they said that, you should have been like, "Well, shoot, I'm gonna go pay for my meal at the bar too, right?" I mean, I woulda. This person said, "If they want it done on my car, I need all the cash first, and if it equals to what the bill say, then we we all cool, no complaints, right?" Even then, no. <laughs> I just said it right and no kind of contradicted myself. It's okay. But no. Because if I was to do that, then y'all would have to cash out me like right then and there. And it would have to be, um, I, I want my money like right now. Okay. Because I just don't see, I don't see me just putting thirty over $3,500 on a card and I don't have nobody's money. I'm I'm talking about like when you cash out me, Venmo me, Zelle me, however you want to do it. When you do that for me, when you send me the money, I'm talking about it has to hit my account like ASAP. I'm talking about as soon as you send me the money, it has to hit my account right in and there. Because there is no way. <laughs> no way. This person said, only thing I would have did differently was... I D G A F instead of I D C, but that's just me. <laughs> girl, I mean, either one is fine with me. It still has that equal power to the I D C, but girl, I, I get it. I get it. The I D G A F would have been like that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, this person said these restaurants need to normalize an option of allowing individual tabs for parties over a certain a certain over a certain number. I understand that too because I always thought that like how they say we can't split it two ways but I think it's something with their system to where they it maybe it's so much more work for them to split it like if it's 15 people that's a lot of splitting you know but then it's like to avoid conflicts like this and prolonging the situation having to come back are you guys ready you're not ready okay coming back are you guys ready you're not ready okay like all of that ugh. it's just it maybe it's easier for them to split to it i don't know i don't work in the service industry well i don't work in that industry so um if somebody knows why they don't why you have to split it um two ways then like let me know because i'm very curious about that as well but I, I want to say maybe because it's like a lot, especially if it's like over 15 people. That is a lot. But then again, I'm like, I want my own check. <laughs> I don't want to be sitting here like, well, I cash up you. Like, I've had that happen to me before. Like, I went to a birthday dinner. Actually, it was a birthday brunch. And um, it was I was with my cousin. And my cousin was like, because um, they couldn't split it. It was certain. It was so many ways they could only split it. And I split it with my cousin, and he was just like, "Oh, we can just do half." I'm like, "I'm not paying half of this bill. I only had a, I had, I did have an appetizer, I had a drink, and I had uh, my my main course. My cousin had hot wings. He had uh, no wings were good. I did eat like one wing though, but he had like a couple. Of, he did have a couple of appetizers, and he had a few drinks. I mean, like a few drinks." And he had a main course and he had dessert. Do you think I'm going to split half of that one? I didn't even eat half of that. No, sorry, Bob. Not me. So, no. <laughs> this person said, why couldn't everyone go to the bar and pay their tab like he did? I'm saying. 
Because once I find out he did that, I'd be like, no worries. No worries. You can go ahead and I'll go to the bar and uh, I'm going to take care of my own bill at the bar. Okay? Because he did it. Why didn't nobody else do it? I feel like everybody should have got up and did it. Okay? I'm with you on that. Because I was saying that. That's what I was saying. Like, why not? I would have been like, well, shoot, I'm going to go up and pay, pay my bill at the bar too. This person said, unless it's established beforehand that we're splitting the check, I'm letting the waiter know my check separate as soon as I sit down. Okay, not as soon as I sit down. I'm letting know as soon as we walking over to the table. I'm gonna say, who's the waiter right there? Okay, hey girl, hi. So I'm a I'm at this party of 15 people for whatever reason, and I'm gonna let you know like my 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 check is separate. Okay, is there a way that I can go? Like I can. You say I can go to the bar and pay? Okay, I'm gonna do that then, cause I'm not paying. I'm not. I I don't don't you bring me no bill. Some some thirty five hundred dollars, and I gotta figure out how I'm gonna pay and who gonna put it on who card. That's just too much trouble. That I don't even wanna go through all of that. Cause what if I'm like, oh well, I only have cash. I'll just give me the cash. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, so anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for joining me. And let me know that your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And remember to stay safe from the Karens. And I'm out.